I think uh, Immunopedia is a very important tool that gathers immunologists from all over the world, from different backgrounds, from different cultures, from different stages of their career, from undergraduate students to experts in immunology. So there is a, um, a very rich environment to, to learn, to view things from different points of, of view. Um, so I, I, I think it's, it's very nice that Immunopedia exists. Um, so far, I have made a couple of interviews uh, to immunologists, one to Dr. Maria Moreno, a Uruguayan immunologist, um, and also to uh, Beasin Combadier and Armel Falipon, that are coordinators of the vaccinology course at Institut Pasteur of, of Paris, that I have the amazing opportunity to attend. And I have made also a sum up of that course. In addition, I take an Immunopedia poster to every Congress I attend, uh, either in Uruguay or abroad. And uh, I keep telling all my students to subscribe to the Immunopedia newsletter and also to use all the amazing tools that Immunopedia has to offer that is reliable information and very useful. Um, I think that, that being part of Immunopedia is great because you are in touch with immunologists from all over the world and that's amazing. Why I study immunology? Uh, well, at the beginning of my undergraduate studies, I had the opportunity to work in a biological and pharmaceutical company that produced vaccines and I was amazed by the whole process. And later when I studied uh, the news, the, the immunology, I was <laughs> astonished by all the, the mechanisms that take takes place, all the cells involved, uh, all the strategies that are deployed in order to keep us, us safe. Uh, I think that's simply amazing. I mean, <laughs> and in addition to that, we can use vaccines or immunotherapy to, immunotherapies to stimulate uh, that system and make it work even better. Mm -hmm. So I have no doubt mm -hmm. this is what I wanted to, I think mm -hmm. it's amazing. My research focusing uh, studying the uh, mechanisms underlying the attribute effect of uh, saponins obtained from a native tree from Uruguay that is called Quixaja brasiliensis, uh, either alone on, or when, when these saponins are included into immune stimulating complexes that are cage like nanoparticles of 40 nanometers. This pandemic affected this research because we had to stop. Uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, we had to stop doing the bench work. And then uh, our lab, um, we uh, collaborated in the COVID-19 diagnostic. So this work was left aside for a while. But well, this pandemic has proven that vaccines are essential tools in order to tackle current and emerging infectious diseases. And well, adjuvants are compounds that are added to vaccines in order to help them promote the adequate immune responses we need. And in particular, these adjuvants um, has, have proven so far in preclinical studies that they promote a Th1 biased immune response that is the adequate immune response in order to tackle uh, viral uh, uh, infections. So knowing the mechanism of action of these adjuvants is really important if these adjuvants are going to be used in clinical studies and then in real vaccines. Well, I am very happy that I could uh, help in the development of the Immunocolombia course. In my case, uh, I had to make a summary of a, a topic that is definitely not my area, that was the CAR-T immunotherapy. And well, I had to, to read about new things and learn a lot. So I hope it helps and I enjoy the process. Good luck. <laughs>